How's it going everybody? Joe from Total Justice Gaming here with another deck review for you guys. So today's video is a little different because I'm doing what is called Buddy Tech Classic, where we look at a deck that is not necessarily top tier, uh, nor is it probably going to ever be anymore. But, you know, I can be proven wrong. If you guys can take this list, make it better, go out and win a regional, good on you. But... Uh, this deck is just going to be pretty much a good old Shinsengumi deck, meaning you're going to have a lot of fun with this at locals. Uh, it may take a few matches, might even win, do fairly well with it. But, you know, this is one of my older decks. I haven't really updated this, and we'll be looking at other decks of similar fashion. So, right off the bat, we got uh, Shinsengumi, which uh, has my buddy as Saito. Uh, long story short... I like Saito, I like the Shinsengumi, and there's a very good reason and explanation for this. Rooney Kenjin. Without this show, I'm pretty sure now, you know, I'm taking liberties here, I'm grasping at straws. A lot of us wouldn't even know who the Shinsengumi was, let alone who Hajime Saito was. He was the cigarette-smoking Vegeta of the Rooney Kenshin series. So... It's all thanks to this TV series that I actually got into Buddy Fight, because the Shinsengumi deck, which we're looking at today, is actually my first Buddy Fight deck. Now, I am staunchly and vehemently in Hero World. However, again, if you watch some of the earlier videos, Hero World really, really kept liking to tease us in the anime, and just never came out. And my friends really wanted me to get into Buddy Fight. So I said, well, show me some cards. What's in this? And then I came across uh, Saito. It's like, well, that's named Saito. That's cool. And I looked, like, looked at the typing. It's a Dragonite. Oh, it's Shinsengumi. So this is Hajime Saito. Sure, I'll play uh, uh, Shinsengumi. So from there on out, I played this for a little while until... Hero World finally came out. So we're going to go right into it. So there's the buddy. There's that. There's really not too much to say about this other than I run four copies of Saito. Uh, he's a 5-4-1. You know, like I said, I mean, it's it's just stats. And, you know, a five, uh, five, five 5K is pretty decent even nowadays. It gets over some of your standard ones. It gets over some of your less aggressive twos. So, still good. I wish the damage was better, but, you know, this is a swarm deck. So, it, it gets better as we go on. Next up, we have mm. Soshi. Soshi is our um, ungodly and really good kill card, which he has quite a bit of uses and a lot of uh, tricks to pull him in, bring him out, pull him in, bring him out, pull him in, bring him out. Um, so his triple thrust and, uh, God, I, I can't remember his name right off the bat, guys, and I apologize. Uh, I think this is Okita Soshiro, and you feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in this. I'm trying to remember the best I can off Japanese history, uh, but he is... Uh, his technique, Triple Thrust, is actually based, uh, the move he was most famous for in the uh, Japanese period. So you tap him, you just flat out kill a card. And as I said, as we go through the deck, we'll see multiple spells I have to just bring Soshi back to hand, play him again during the main phase, tap him, and then bring him back to hand just to drop him again. And essentially killing three things, killing, clearing the field, or even potentially killing something with, like, Soul Guard really easily and clearing up a board space. So, from there, we have got Kondo. And I'm not going to be able to remember who everybody is specifically. I do apologize. Uh, let me see if I can't zoom in just a little bit more, give you guys a better picture. There we go. Much better. So next up we got Kondo. Kondo is uh, pay one. He's a two two one. Uh, call cost is pay gauge, and then all Shinsugumi on your field get plus one critical. He also gains his own crit. Uh, let me pull up the trivia here as I read this. Uh, he is named after Kondo Isami, a famous Japanese swordsman who was 
the supreme commander of all the Shinsugumi. He was also executed for the Shinsugumi's involvement with the a, alleged assassination of Ryoma Sakamoto, which I also believe is a dragon knight named Ryoma. Oh, he is. Well, that's even better. Uh, so next up, we got Hijikata. We play four of him. Move him a little bit into the camera. Alrighty, there we go. So, Hijikata is a 2 2 2. Uh, pretty decent on the crit. Uh, and he is, when he enters the field, you can pay a gauge. If you do, you get Wolves of Mibu from your drop zone back in your hand. Uh, good spell recursion. Wolves of Mibu is absolutely needed in this deck. It gives really good stats, and we'll go over that card later. Of course, I run four of him. Hijikata is of based off of, let me hit up the trivia, the Vice Commander Hijikata Toshizu. Toshi... Toshizo. Excuse me. Man, you know, being part Japanese, you think I'd be able to pronounce these names easier. Killing me here. Next off, we run four of Nagakura. Uh, Nagakura is our... is another 2-2 two -two for two. However, all other Shinsengu... Uh, if another Shinsugumi is on the field, he becomes a 4-2-4. Four, four. Uh, pretty decent stats for a 1. If you have Kondo, he's a 4-3-4, four, four, so they're definitely going to be willing to block him. Uh, Nagakura is named after Nagakura Shimpachi, who is the captain of the 2nd troop. Moving right along, we play just 2 uh, Sanosuke. And the reason for that is, is because Sonosuke's call cost is pretty steep in this deck. He's call cost pay to gauge. When this card enters the field, search your deck for up to one Shinsengumi monster and put it into your hand. So that means you can go search out uh, your buddy. You can search out Soji, Soshi. You can search out Kondo. Get whatever you need. I really only run him at two. I used to run at the buddy, and then that just got really bad because it always... Uh, left me with just almost no gauge. So I cut him down to a two of because I saw that we had this card, which is the Dragonite um, excuse me, the Dragonite uh, Impact Monster uh, Edward the Black, Battle of Gargantula he's our only non Shinsengumi he's very costly but he is worth it. So he is a 937 Pay 4 gauge, put a Dragonite monster from your field into your gauge. So he really kind of is only a 3 uh, three gauge for Cole. Uh, when he enters the field, destroy all monsters in your opponent's field. Then if you have 4 more different Dragonite in your drop zone, draw 2 cards. He's really, really good. I've run him at a 2 of. I'm thinking of running him at a 3 of and dropping his spell, but I'm still testing this out. He has just really good damage potential, really good draw potential. Um, he, uh, helps mitigate his own cost to a degree. I'm only running two of them right now. Uh, for weapons, I am running four of Dragon Lance Longhorn. Because it is a 4-2 that's, uh, uh, worth the equip cost of pay a gauge and a life. Uh, you cannot attack monsters on the left and right, meaning you can only go straight for the center, but that's nothing new. This is, uh, Dragon World. Um... Pardon me. If you have another Dragonite uh, on your field, this card gets 3,000 power, making it a 7k uh, weapon with Penetrate, which that's really important because this helps push damage through because you don't have a lot of crit on the field if you don't have Kondo. So this helps push damage through a little bit easier and helps the deck uh, be a bit more aggressive. Uh, for spells... We have, of course, the obligatory four green dragon shields. Block something if you don't have anything in your center. And gain a life. We run two blue dragon shields. Block an attack if you don't have anything in the center. And gain a gauge. We have four wolves of Mibu, which we can get back with one of our Shinsengumi, who gives the Shinsengumi plus five, plus five in counterattack. Uh, really, really good. I like that... Uh, Good plus five plus five. It's much uh, heavier um, than the standard plus three plus three. It actually does save quite a bit of your guys. Um, next up, we got uh, three night energy. 
to give some, uh, our Dragonite's plus three plus three counterattack, uh, more protection, more counterattack, uh, able survivability, because you really do want to keep as many Shinsengumi out on the field as you want. Uh, up to, back to those tricks I was talking about. We have uh, the skies in... I'll read this real quick. Skies in your hand. Sorry, sticker was coming in. We run three of this. We pay a gauge. We can bounce all of our Shinsugumi back onto the uh, back from our fan uh, from the field to our hand. This is really important because this goes with that Soshi trick I was saying earlier. So you bounce all your cart. You tap Soshi, kill something, bounce everything back, play uh, your Shinsugumi back out, and then tap Soshi again to kill another monster or get rid of that monster with Soul Guard. Uh, we run two copies of Mercenaries. Mercenaries is the Midnight Shadow. Uh, they can't uh, attack you and your attack is nullified. The attack is nullified unless it's a link attack. So we have more protection there. We have Dragobond. Keep certain cards out on the field. This is really used to help keep Kondo out on the field. Um, and you know, gain us two life. So we really, really do need that. And then finally, we run two Dragonic Maneuvers, which is a countercast version of Skies in Your Hands. Um, it's a single use, but it's free, so you don't have to pay the gauge that you have to pay uh, to use uh, Skies in Your Hands, but you are only limited to using it once per turn. But this is a second card you can use as a trick to keep uh, to bounce Soshi to keep those kills going. So that is my Shinsengumi deck, guys. I hope you guys like it. It's, like I said, this is not a top-tier deck anymore. I don't know, know if it ever will be unless they, for some reason, put out more of the uh, lesser-known Shinsengumi from uh, Japanese history. Uh, this deck primarily covers the majority of the captains, and that's really it for this deck. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, please take the time to like the video, subscribe, leave comments. I love talking with you guys. It's always wonderful to hear comments or criticisms. If you guys don't like the video, give us a thumbs down. That's fine, but, you know, please, please, please leave a comment on what you didn't like about the video, and I will be more than happy to talk to you and address it, and we can make these videos better. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching Total Justice Gaming, and we'll see you guys later.